Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to start from the beginning of an Ubuntu server 18.04.4 install and we are going to conclude the video with an installation of NX Filter. For those not familiar with NX Filter, it is a piece of software that allows DNS filtering and has a quite extensive blacklist of sites that will be blocked. The reason I'm interested in this software is twofold. First, I had encountered it in the wild a few years ago, and so I want to see how it has advanced, and also because Part of my duties as technology coordinator at a library involves filtering the public computers that are used by children. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road and get our install kicked off. And I will be fast forwarding through part of this after I have entered the pertinent information because this install is really nothing new and you can see it detailed in other videos on my channel. All right, we're gonna take English here and it looks good, done. And it's got an IP address, so we'll do done again, no proxy except the default mirror address we're going to use the entire disk and virtualbox hard disk done continue install open ssh server And we're going to skip over all this stuff at this point. And we're going to let this run. I will see everybody on the other side of the install. And we'll kick off the NX filter part of the video. See everybody in a few moments. All right, we've reached the end of our installer, so we're going to go ahead and reboot into our new system. All right, we'll connect to our new machine with SSH, and it's got updates, so we'll go ahead and do that. And while that's running, I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari and bring up the documentation for NX Filter. Okay, while we've got a minute, NX Filter can be found at nxfilter.org. And I've got the tutorial open in the second window. And we're going to select Installing on Linux. And it gives you instructions on how to do that. Keep in mind that you want to run these steps down here for Ubuntu 18.04. Before installing NX Filter, we will be going through the step where we download NX Filter here. Then we'll run this section of steps and then we will finish up 
everything else and make sure everything is running properly when we get done. So let's go back to the virtual machine and get this started. So the first command installs OpenJDK. And the second command, we want to grab the link for the current version of NX filter because this command that they give us here has a version that's a couple of releases old. So we're going to grab the newest version. Uh, once the Java runtime environment has finished installing, then we will move on to the next step. Okay. Next command is going to be wget and we will paste in the URL for the current version of NX filter. And that should come down pretty fast. All right, so we want to skip down to the Ubuntu section and we're going to issue some commands here. All right, so we'll try this a little bit different and hopefully that'll force it. So if we do cat etsy resolve.conf. Okay, so we're back where we were. Okay, so now we jump back to the top set of commands and that went well and then we enable NX filter so that it starts when we reboot the system and then we issue the command to start it and then we watch the log file for the end of the additions and I believe there are about 1.8 million rows to be added so this will take a little while but not too long at this rate all right so while that's finishing up if you're interested in NX filter which at this point you still may not be until you can actually see what it does but if you are interested in at least trying it out it does ship with a 30-day trial license for the Jaha list or Yaha list I'm not sure how they want to pronounce it with the base package after trial it's still free for up to 25 users and if your network is larger than that it's 60 US dollars for a 50 user block and if you wanted an unlimited that's $3,600 for a year but you do get a little bit of a break if you buy the 50 user license for two or three years at a time now they do have cloud list and this is a third party cloud based domain categorization service it uses uh, does dynamic classification has more than 30 million domains and there's a 30-day trial license for cloud list in the nx filter package so after the 30 days, you lose the functionality of the cloud list package, but you fall back on the default Yaha list or Jaha list. We will let this finish 
its current process and then we will regroup when it has finished up and is ready to be used. All right, one reinstall later and we are at the login screen. Default login is admin and admin. And so right off, you are brought to the dashboard. Well, let's flip it out. You're brought to the dashboard and you get the request trend for the last two hours and other nice little graphs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to go into setup under the config menu. And we want to make sure that the block redirection IP matches the IP address of the server that we installed for NX filter. And that does go to config and admin. And we want to reset the admin password. So again, the default password is admin and I'm going to set it to a password of my choosing. And submit. We'll say no. And then I'm going to log out and log back in. And it lets me in with a new password. All right. So now that we've got the password reset for the administrator user, we need to go to policy. And we're going to edit the default policy. Now, there are other ways you could approach configuring this. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to edit the default policy. You can have multiple policies, but that is outside the scope of this particular video. We're going to block adware with a blank page. And if we come down here, just say submit on that. And then the blocked categories. We'll toggle all to start with. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and submit that. I thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for suffering through this half of the video with my um, little upper respiratory infection I've got going on. I did want to get this video out sooner than later, and I just really didn't want to wait until this was all cleared up. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing off for the Practical IT channel. If you've not taken a moment to like subscribe and leave comments please do so now and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching have a great day